Hello there, my name is Ismos and welcome to part, I think, seven of our trading series, uh, making this uh, channel in a Blender 2.8. So let's make these concrete, these brick walls, brick walls with uh, concrete uh, patches on them. Uh, so yeah. So we already have the concrete. I'm not going to redo that uh, from scratch. So. Yes, I unhide everything so that we can see the walls, uh, the wall that we are going to be creating, going to use. I'll just zoom in a bit here. And uh, I'm going to use the same concrete material here, and uh, I'll just be changing a few things about it. I will leave the concrete uh, as it is and uh, create uh, the brick uh, texture and uh, use a mask to mask uh, the different parts that I want the concrete to be and the parts that I want uh, the the uh, the bricks to be uh, so to make this a little bit easier to explain i'm just going to make i'm going to first create uh, the brick texture the brick shader separate from the concrete uh, shader and then mix them afterwards i think that would be easier uh, but uh yeah let's go in again let me just duplicate this alt d on the x and y and uh, remove uh, any of these modifiers so that I can easily know where this is. So let's create a new material. Uh, we're going to need a, a brick texture so you can download it anywhere you want. I'll be, uh, I will have these materials up on my website, blender101.com to download for free uh, so that you can start from there if you want to start from there. Uh, they will also include include all the textures that I have, uh, but uh, remember to go to CC Zero Textures where I'm getting most of the textures that I'm using here, and uh, support the guy if you if you can. Um, another area that I, another website that I usually use to, for textures is Texture Heaven. It's also a free website where you can download uh, textures to use. Uh, so let's dive in and continue with this project. Also, if you want to get other uh, project files. I uh, you have you can become a patron and uh, have access to all my models uh, that I make and the different projects that I make monthly. So let's continue with this and uh, create our brick shader. I'm going to remove uh, this bloom effect uh, because I think it's getting in the way and uh, not seeing the, the entire scene. So let's add a texture, image texture, and define a brick texture. I already have a good one. I think I, I had. An, have a few of them here but I think I use uh, this one here so if I connect this to the base color you see we're just getting a simple shade of the brick texture and this is always a, always an indicator that your mesh is not UV unwrapped so you need to UV unwrap it so let's go in and uh, UV unwrap uh, this so I uh, previously I showed in a previous video I showed you how to easily unwrap any object quickly and easily so let's try out that uh way of uv unwrapping well you know i just uh, an, as an initiative to, to let people go watch uh, that tutorial because i share a lot of in information uh on how to uv unwrap objects i'll just do it in the in the normal way but uh, if you want to get the more detailed way the easier way of uh, uv unwrapping this uh because but, but this is also a simple object uh, that doesn't need a lot of uv unwrapping so i'll just Go in and un unwrap this in uh, in the usual way. But uh, if you want to find to to learn uh, the more easier way, you can just go to you can just go and watch uh, my previous tutorial on UV unwrapping. So let's select that, Control select that to create uh, a selection like that, and uh, we're going to add a seam here to separate uh, this part from the rest of the mesh. And uh, I guess we can also simply add a seam here and now if you we UV unwrap this you can see we have this UV unwrapped like that uh, but uh, the bricks are too big so I'm going to add an input UV map and uh, you can also you can use input a uh, texture coordinate uh, to get uh, the UV map projection but uh, if you just want the UV map this is the same thing uh, the difference is that uh, here you can select a UV map that you want to use, but uh, since we're going to be using only one UV map, we can just stick with that. So now we can add, 
uh, the mapping, uh, which is under vector mapping, then connect uh, the UV map to that and then that to that. And we need to increase the scale so that we have a very good scale for our bricks. So you can see that uh, the way these bricks are being rotated is not uh, what I want. I want them to follow the same uh, direction as this. So you can go to UV editing and look, take a look at uh, our UVs. So just select this island. Uh, let me also make sure that I'm seeing this. Uh, rotate this 90 degrees. Uh, we still have an issue with how these are rotated. Uh, I think this is because uh, we this is curving instead of going around there. So I'm going to add a seam around here. Control E, max seam, and then UV unwrap again. And uh, so this will give us a more flat. Uh, it, it will separate the two islands, uh, but it will also make uh, this a bit more flat. So I'll select these two and then rotate the 90 degrees so that they follow the direction of our bricks. But uh, you can still see that uh, they have a, they still have a bend uh, there. So to get rid of that bend, I think we can add a seam here. Control E, max seam, and then unwrap. We still have an issue where these are still following. So again, we need to rotate the back. I think this is uh, much better for this part. Uh, but uh, for this top part, again, just to make this faster, because this is not about UV unwrapping, it's about making textures. So just also add a seam here. A mark a seam. You can watch my previous story on how to easily uh, get less uh, curvy. Uh, less stretched UV maps in uh, Blender. So I rotate this 90 degrees. You can see at least now we have better UVs. So now let's start adding some bump maps uh, to this and um, make it a more interesting shader. So uh, I will add a light here, a light source, just to see how the light is affecting our scene. I need it here. see so then I need this as our roughness I need a roughness from these bricks so I'll add a color ramp to convert uh, the image into a black and white image and also have control over uh, the contrast of our roughness map so I'll connect this and if I can preview this control shift click uh, but uh, you need to have the node wrangler add-on enabled uh, to enable that shortcut so you can increase the contrast a bit so that we have uh, the motor and the bricks uh, a bit separated. Uh, we want uh, the bricks to be more reflective than the motor, like it is right now, but uh, we, we don't want them to be that refractive. So I'll reduce uh, the reflection a bit like that, and maybe add some reflections, make a, make the motor a bit reflective like that as well. So I'll connect this to the roughness. Now, if I look at the bricks, I can see they're still a bit too reflective. So just to control the the uh, the reflecting the reflective the overall reflective reflectiveness of our bricks, uh, I can just add without without controlling the without playing with the color ramp here because I still want to have uh, the contrast uh, the the kind of details that I have in the uh, in the in the color map here uh, because but uh, if you play around with these with these nodes here, you will be affecting how this looks. So I just add a math node and uh, make sure you have uh, the operation, the math oper operation set to add. And then now you can play around with the overall roughness or reflectiveness of your map. So I'll keep it around here. No, so I think this is, I'm losing a lot of details here. So I'll bring this back a bit, something like that. And now if we look at the roughness, the overall material this is what we get you can see how this is affecting this area uh, you can also always turn off uh, the color ramp the color the base color to see how reflective your mesh is looking your material is looking and you can see uh, the different areas so let's bring that back up so I think from here from this color ramp we can get a nice uh, no more map. So what I'll do is add a 
a vector bump node and uh, connect this to the height map and then this to the normal map and uh, so we have our normal if I remove this you can see how that is affecting our bricks but I think this is too big it's, it, the strength is too much so I'll bring this down a bit it doesn't have to be too much so to around something like that and then connect back our bricks and uh, if you look at this it's not too far from what we have here. maybe our bricks are too small so we can always come back to the car ramp sorry to the mapping and uh, increase play around with the scale here something like that I think that is good so we, we just need to mix uh, the concrete we have here the concrete map and uh, the uh, the the bricks so I'll make two duplicates here and here so I'm going to assign maybe I even make a fourth one a fourth duplicate here so this is going to be our concrete I just link these to this to share the same material and uh, this is going to be our bricks uh, this is going to be our final material uh, this is going to be our mask so let's create a mask uh, that is going to uh, kind of tell blender where the bricks are going to go and uh, where the concrete is supposed to go so for this uh, let's uh, create a new material it's not going to be a material but uh, just to show you how the how I make the uh, the the mask I am creating a new material, but I think I can do that in the next story. I don't want this to be too long. So thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next story.